What does the job market look like in the aerospace sector in the UK from 2021 into the foreseeable future? Well, this is the question this video is intended to answer. First, let's take a look at the aerospace industry as a whole. So this involves civil aerospace, defense aerospace and space. The UK aerospace sector as a whole employed between 102,000 to 116,000 in 2020. For context, this is around 0.4% of the working population in the United Kingdom. It is important to note that these are not all solely aerospace engineers, as there are many professions within the aerospace sector. For example, some alternate degrees to aerospace engineering that can help you get into the aerospace sector are computer science, chemical engineering, maths and physics. One thing that the aerospace sector boasts is a great average weekly wage, which is around 780 pounds and 80 pence. So this sort of roughly equates to around £40,000 a year. Comparing this to the average salary in the UK, which is around £31,500, it clearly shows that a career in aerospace is greatly financially rewarding. Another clarification I do want to make about the average wage is that this is an average of all the people that work in the aerospace sector, from apprentices right up to CEO level. To consolidate the overall analysis of the aerospace sector, it's evident that the sector is not that large in the grand scheme of things. However, it does pay above average, well considerably above average, which makes it greatly lucrative to venture into. So let's go deeper into the three main areas within aerospace engineering, which is civil aerospace, defense aerospace and space in general. First up, we have civil aerospace. And within civil aerospace, the main things that they develop are passenger aircraft. So things like large jumbo commercial planes like this one here, to private helicopters, as well as commercial cargo aircraft. It is pretty evident that COVID has impacted the civil aerospace industry with many airlines cancelling orders for new aircraft. More closely to home, one of my friends actually did an internship with Airbus and was offered a graduate placement. However, after the pandemic hit, Airbus told him that they don't want him to come back as a graduate anymore. So it is clear that the civil aerospace industry has received some hard hits lately and it is uncertain as to how long it'll take to heal back to pre-pandemic levels. What I'd say knowing this is that if you do want to embark on a career in aerospace, then make sure you don't limit yourself in wanting to only work in civil aerospace. Now we've got the currently depressing side of aerospace out of the way, let's move on to two areas within aerospace that are experiencing growth and have a prosperous future. The second piece of the aerospace pie that we're going to cover is defense aerospace. Defense aerospace has been largely unaffected due to the pandemic, mainly because pandemics don't really stop wars going on. Saying this, the job opportunities in defense aerospace are largely unchanged compared to pre-pandemic levels. One thing to note, however, is because the civil aerospace sector is cutting down on jobs, people are now trying to get into defense aerospace jobs. So you have to be aware that the competition to get into defense aerospace has slightly increased. Some promising news about the defense aerospace sector is that BAE Systems recently got a 250 million pound contract to improve its development on Tempest, the next generation fighter jet. According to PwC, this contract awarded to BAE Systems will actually help maintain 21,000 jobs every year. So it is evident that the defense aerospace side of things is well funded and a much safer option to go into compared to civil aerospace, especially when it comes to the near future. The third and final piece of the aerospace pie is the space industry. This actually is one of my favorite areas of aerospace. I think everyone knows this, but uh, it's definitely important to state that unfortunately the UK space endeavours is nowhere near in comparison to that of the United States. However, this does not mean that the UK space industry is not growing. 
Some of my favourite space companies in the UK, Reaction Engines and Skyrora, have both taken in graduates this year. It shows that there's a huge future for fresh graduates who've studied engineering to get into these really interesting and exciting space companies. The UK Space Agency also announced earlier this year that the industry has more than 3,000 new jobs. And this is exciting if you want to work in the space industry because it just shows there are more and more spaces for you to get into working with awesome cool technology that can help the advancement of space. The UK Space Agency also announced that they're going to invest around £1.5 million into space technologies which revolve around space exploration and robotics, mineral extraction in space and nuclear power in space. This could mean the rise of potentially new space tech startups, new space companies and just in general a big boom in the space industry which as a result would mean there needs to be more workers in that space industry so there's more jobs for you guys. By taking all these insights in, it's clear that the UK government is taking the space sector seriously and is hoping to grow this industry rapidly within the next few years. But what this means for you is that there will be more jobs and opportunities for you guys to go into this industry. To conclude everything we have covered in this video, it's evident that the space and defence aerospace sectors are going to be the biggest growing and the most promising future aerospace endeavours that you can go into. However, it's also important to note that the civil aerospace workforce will still be quite sizeable. However, don't expect it to grow much within the next few years. So out of all the subsectors of the aerospace industry, I think the defence aerospace sector looks to be the most safest to go into, given the fact it is unaffected by the pandemic and also it is well funded and has been established for quite a long time. Now, if you want to watch another video that doesn't involve a huge amount of numbers, facts and figures, go check this one out because it's a little funny video I made about what it's like studying aerospace engineering.